<laughs> That's a big sigh so early in the morning. Did something happen? I was just wishing that Monday wouldn't come. You're having a blue Monday? Yeah, something like that. That was a lie. The truth is, there was another reason for my sigh. My name is Sho Tui, and I'm a sophomore in high school. The girl walking to school with me is Kono Kokono. She's the same age as me and my childhood friend. The two of us, as well as our families, have been close since we were in preschool. She's also my next door neighbor. We've been in the same class for elementary, middle, and high school. And she's also the person I like. Hey, Sho. After school today, will you come over to my house? Uh... Kono also likes me, I think. I'm not absolutely sure, but I'm also not that clueless. And there were a couple of instances that made me think that we felt the same way about each other. This obvious invitation was one of the many reasons why I thought that we felt the same way too. Some other reasons include the fact that she's touchy with me in a way that she's not with other guys. And a while ago, she got jealous that I was being close with another girl. Or so I think. With all things considered, I concluded that we felt the same way. I'm quite confident about it too. I started having feelings for Kano when I was in elementary school. When I was young, I had a frail body and would often stay home after getting sick. I wasn't able to play with my friends very often and felt lonely. I didn't like being alone too, so I spent every day using my pillow as a tissue to wipe away my tears. In the midst of all that, Kono was the one person who always came to see me. What should we do today? We can do whatever you want to do, Konoe-chan. Let's play house then! You'll play the role of the husband who got caught cheating. I'll be the wife who gets revenge on him. Is that something normal elementary schoolers do? Just like that, she would always keep me company. But I asked about it later on. It's nothing. It's just because we're neighbors. Don't, don't get the wrong idea. That's what she said. She's a Sundare. Ever since I started having feelings for Kano, I've been working hard so that she could like me back. That's why I was confident. I was confident, but, uh... uh that was a super quiet sigh. If it was a super quiet sigh, it would have been something like small sigh, right? That's literally just you breathing. I still haven't been able to tell her how I feel. If either one of us took that step, we could change our relationship from longtime friends to a couple. We're supposed to be that close, but... I wasn't able to take that step forward. It isn't because I'm a wimp or a chicken or anything like that. There was a different problem. Yeah, I had a good reason for why I couldn't be in a relationship with Kano. <sighs> yeah, I think you're just breathing. That's not the point here. That was the reason I was sighing. The girl I liked was so close to me, but I couldn't do anything about it. I would feel blue, even if it wasn't a Monday. If it wasn't a blue Monday, it's a blue every day. What am I supposed to do? There is a certain someone that I like. Mm. That someone is my childhood friend, Sho, who is sighing extremely quietly next to me. I think I started getting feelings for him in elementary school. Sho had a frail body and would often get sick. This lasted until he started middle school. I was his childhood friend, and since we were close, I looked out for and hung with him often. One day, when I stepped out of my house to run errands for my mom, the rain started pouring. I waited for the pouring rain to stop at a nearby park. It was so cold that I was shaking. But that was when Sho, holding an umbrella, ran towards me. Are you okay? Are you okay, Shokun? Apparently, he brought me an umbrella because I didn't have one when I left the house. 
he put himself at risk of getting sick from the rain even though he had a weak body. On top of that, he held my hand because I seemed cold. And more than anything, when I was feeling anxious and alone in the rain, Sho came to find me. I was so happy to see him. It didn't take long for me to fall for Sho after that. <laughs> uh. And those feelings haven't changed until now. I like Sho and I think that he likes me too. But basically, we feel the same way about each other. Or so I think. I can't be absolutely certain. But I'm pretty confident about it. I've never failed to work hard ever since I started having feelings for Sho. I'm confident that he likes me back. If either one of us take that step forward, we could start being a couple right away. But I don't intend to take that step forward. Why, you ask? Because boys want to be the ones to lead a girl, don't they? I'm an independent woman who can do things on her own. But I have to save face and let him act cool here. But Sho wasn't confessing his feelings for me at all. I've been making it obvious that I like him, so... Unless he's super clueless, he should have noticed. Sho isn't that clueless, so I'm pretty sure he knows how I feel. But... Don't tell me that he's a wimpy chicken. Oh, um... There's no way. Maybe I should test him. Hey, Sho, after school today, do you want to come over to my house? Uh... I invited him over, but his reaction was stale, and he would only give out the smallest of sighs. I gave him a clear hint, but why isn't he reacting at all? Hey, Sho, my parents aren't home today. Uh. Uh. Excuse me, what was that? Is this on purpose? Is he really doing this on purpose? Is he playing around with me after knowing how I feel? <laughs> <laughs> I was going out of my way to save face and keep calm, but... case, I have an idea, too. Uh... Huh? I'm kinda getting chills. If it, if it comes down to it, I'll force us to take that step forward in our relationship. <laughs> what? King's game? Yeah, yeah, let's play! Let's do it! Why? Because, because we're, we're bored! During our lunch break, my classmates suddenly invited me to play a game. We have to play King's Game? Kanoe-chan said she would play too. Kano said that? That was unusual. Kano would act cool and normally turn down games like these. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll definitely win King and make sure to this and that. It seems like she's actually down to play. I guess I'll join then. And that's how we started playing Kings. Who is the king? king? It's me! Did you just click your tongue just now? I threw a kiss. Oh, you threw a kiss. Alright then. Number one and three. You have to hug. Oh, I'm number three. I'm number two. What? Did you just throw a kiss just now? That was me clicking my tongue. Scary. Oh, I have the board! That's awful. So the game continued on, when our lunch break was about to end. Who, Who is, is the king? The king. king! Oh, it's me again! Why? I haven't gotten to be the king not even once. You wanted to be the king that bad? Um, uh, let's see, okay. Numbers two and three have to catch a single piece of paper together with their mouths. Oh, I've seen videos like that online. That's so lame, who would even do that? Oh, I'm number three. Let's do it. What? And that's how. Uh, uh, we 
ended up in a troublesome situation. If our timing doesn't match, I might end up kissing Konam. Well, I mean, it's a kiss with a person I like, right? I'd be happy if we could kiss, but, uh... You better catch the paper or else I'll end up kissing you. I know that. I'll put everything I have into it. How do I say this? Her glare feels murderous? All right, let's start. <sighs> Jesus! Wait, what? Huh? The paper fell on the floor. So I... What? Uh, um... We're gonna end up kissing at this rate. <sighs> Her pupils are so wide, she's clearly ready for this kiss. But we can't! What? Yeah, kissing because of a game? That's not good. Uh, let's stop here. What? Well, um... Come on! We have to move classrooms for our next period. Let's get going already. Oh... Uh, maybe I wasted my opportunity. But I didn't want to kiss her when we weren't even in a relationship yet. Besides, I... Uh... uh... Oh, um... Cheer up! Don't no, Rory! You'll have another chance! I'm sorry. You guys even tried to help me out. Well, I mean... Yeah, don't worry about it. I wish I had done that a little more smoothly, too. Uh, yes. This game was all planned out beforehand. When I asked my classmates for advice about show, they told me to leave it to them and suggested this King's game. They arranged things so that I'd be able to be lovey-dovey with show, but... Uh, that was a small sigh. I never would have thought Sho would run away from me. Sadness. Konoi-chan's face looks like an emoji. I thought Sho and I felt the same way about each other. But it was all just my misunderstanding. God, I can't do this. I can't get over this heartbreak. I don't remember much after that. I was blanking out and looking like an emoticon during the entirety of my evening classes. By the time I realized it was already our final class before the end of the school day. I think Sho tried to talk to me too, but I was too embarrassed to look him in the eye and left the classroom as if I was running away. And now... <sighs> I was taking shelter from the rain. I didn't think it would start raining so suddenly. <laughs> it's like nature is reflecting how I feel right now. I went and misunderstood that we felt the same way. <laughs> Gosh. I was thinking that I'd make the move for show if he wasn't going to do anything about it. I was looking down on him and tried to force our relationship to take a step forward. As a result, I found out that it was all a misunderstanding. I felt like such a clown. <laughs> it wasn't a laughing matter. It's clear now that I think about it. It's not that Sho couldn't make a move. He didn't like me in the first place, so there was no need for him to do anything. How pathetic was I for thinking he was a wimpy chicken? Did I think the entire world revolves around me or something? I feel like I want to be cooped up in my room forever. The rain isn't stopping. I feel depressed. Canal? <laughs> I'm hearing Sho's voice now. Hey, Canal. Sho? Yeah, it's me, Sho-san. More importantly, here, a towel. You're soaking wet. D thank you. Uh, well, you're real. What else would I be if I wasn't? Oh, it's you. Wh why are you here? Didn't I talk to you about how it might rain during our last class? I told you that I left an umbrella at school and that I'll let you borrow it, right? Uh, oh, I I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Yeah? Um, but, but, um, why are you here? I thought you'd be soaking wet by now, so I ran after you. All this way? Yeah, you wouldn't have gotten wet if you walked home with me in the first place. Oh. Either way, I thought it'd be harder to look for you. 
I'm glad you were sitting here. It's so nostalgic. I remember that you were hiding from the rain here when we were little and thought that you might be here. I'm glad I decided to stop by. Oh. To know? I actually do like you. Huh? So, I... I like you. <gasps> what? Did you just confess your feelings to me? But what are you saying so suddenly? My feelings came pouring out. Is that so? But, I mean, I know that you don't have feelings for me. What? But why would you think that? Because you turned down my kiss earlier. You wouldn't have done that if you liked me back. Uh, that's, uh... I didn't think it was good to have our first kiss just because of a game. Well, do, does, does that mean... What if it wasn't a game? But that's, um, well... I knew that you didn't want to kiss me. It's not that. Of course I want to kiss her, but if, but if I tell her that, she'll find out that I like her. Uh, what do I do? Is it okay for me to tell her how I feel? But it'll be harder to leave her if I do that. Hey, Shul. Sure. Wh uh, what is it? I like you. <laughs> I told you my feelings honestly, so... You too. Tell me the truth. I... Uh, I... I like you too, Kano. I knew it. We felt the same way. Th then, can we be a couple from now on? That's... I'm sorry, we can't. What? Why? I'm moving. You're moving? Far away. <laughs> yes, this is the real reason why I couldn't tell you how I felt. When? Right after I graduate high school. Even if that's the case, why can't we be a couple? We'll be long distance, you know? I don't care about that. It's not gonna work out. Sure. The farther our physical distance, the easier it'll be to lose feelings for each other. I knew firsthand because I was always sick and missing school when I was young. It was hard to call my classmates my friends once I stopped going to my classes. When I went back to school after a while, only a few people actually talked to me. There were fewer and fewer people who did that as I continued to miss classes. In the end, no one talked to me. People get separated when there's a physical distance. I think uh, that's the same for both couples and friends. I did admire relationships that were still close despite being far away, but I knew more than anyone how difficult that was. That was why. I'm sorry. I can't date you, Kano. But we feel the same way. I don't want to tie you down or make you sad, so this is the best decision. It's not... Besides, I can't believe you never said anything about something so important. I'm sorry. I won't forgive you! If you want me to forgive you, make me your girlfriend. That's... Uh... You won't? Uh... Hey, Sho, how far away is far away? Next train station? Next train station? I've never heard of a place like that. Is it super far away? Uh... I I'll go see you no matter how far away it is. I'm moving to the next train station. Huh? One train station away from the one currently closest to our house. Um... It's one train station away! Huh? Being one train station away is so far. We've been together all this time. I can't stand this. That's why I can't date you, Kudo. I'm sorry. Hold on a second. One train station away? That's like less than five minutes away by train. I don't think that's far at all. It's super far. Right now, we live right next to each other, but now we'll be separated by an entire train station. It's too far. If you think about that, yeah, we'll be farther away, but if it's only one train station away, we could see each other basically every single day. I can't stand it. How low is your tolerance? 
Don't tell me that you're okay with this, Kano. Of course I am. You're so mean. Do you think I'm stupid? <sighs> oh, the rain stopped. Let's go home. Huh? Oh, yeah. Hey, Shul. Yeah? Let's hold hands on the way home. What? Well, but that's what a couple would do. It's fine. Hurry up and hold my hand. Oh, yes. We walked home together while holding hands after that. Bonus clip. What do you consider long distance show? Probably about 500 meters. That's so close. Really? In a video game, 500 meters is a super far distance. I'm not talking about video games. I'm asking how far a long distance relationship is to you. Probably around 500 meters. That's the same thing you said earlier. But in a video game... Why are you only talking about video games? But I mean, we're so close right now that we can touch, but we'll have to be 500 meters apart, you know? Isn't that far? I can't even hold your hand. I'm gonna be so lonely. Well, I, I guess if you think about how we can't touch each other, it might be far. Right? But in that case, we'd be separated enough to not be able to touch if we were 10 meters apart. I can still see you if we're 10 meters away. Let's try separating then. Huh, Cadell, where are you? Your eyesight is so bad. Some people say that they'll make the effort to go see someone if they love them. So they said you're stupid for complaining about 500 meters. That's so mean! I like you. I like you. What? My name is Yu Higiri. I'm a sophomore in college. Right now, my two childhood friends are confessing their feelings for me at the same time. Well, what kind of situation is this? Uh, uh, I said it. I'm so embarrassed. The girl who's looking embarrassed is Akari Asashi. Akari-chan, you're the one who suggested confessing our feelings together. And this girl, who looks like she's dozing off, it's Yayoi Yoimiya. Both of them are my childhood friends, whom I've known since elementary school. We were all neighbors, so we hung out quite often. And just like that, we stuck together for elementary, middle, high school, and college. Honestly, I might be spending as much time with them as I do with my family. And now they've confessed their feelings to me. Uh, you like me? Are you serious? You wouldn't lie about something like this. Since when? Ever since middle school. I didn't notice at all. I mean, I didn't make an effort to make it obvious. But Akari-chan has liked you since elementary school, so she was intensely flirting with you. What? Why'd you tell him? Akira's been flirting with me since elementary school? I didn't notice at all. How oblivious am I? I'm an asshole! Don't pressure yourself that much. It's not your fault for not noticing Akari-chan's flirting. The things she was doing... She pranked you by hiding your school shoes or throwing you dead cicadas, which you hate. That's like an elementary school boy bullying a girl that he likes. I don't do things like that now. It was a long time ago. But he used to have liked me for that long? Well, yeah, you're a pretty good Guy? Just be honest and say he's handsome. I can't say such a cringy line without being embarrassed, unlike you! I've always thought you were handsome, Yukun. You're so kind and caring, and I think the way you can't leave anyone in trouble is amazing. 
Thanks. It makes me blush when you say that. N me too. I know how amazing of a person you are too. Thanks. Uh, why did he hear me? Anyway, why are you suddenly confessing together now? If both of you like me, does this mean this is the start of a bloody love triangle? Exactly. I knew it! Of course not! What? Man, it's not? I'm not motivated anymore. Why were you motivated to have a bloody love triangle? We we're already 20 years old, so the two of us talked about how we should change this relationship already. We had a ceasefire agreement until now because we treasured our friendship, but... We decided to move forward and stop our ceasefire agreement. I see. These two were working hard to maintain our friendship while I didn't notice a thing. So that's that. We're going to have you choose who you want to date, Yukun. What? We're not going to blame each other no matter who you choose. Of course, if you don't want to date either of us, well, that's fine too. But if you're going to make a decision to choose neither one of us for our benefit, don't. No one is going to end up happy like that. You're exactly right. Besides, not choosing either one of them is not a sincere decision. These two girls are important to me, not as much as my family. But I love both of them just as strongly as romantic feelings. I like them enough to easily be able to choose someone in the future and go on dates while holding hands, kiss, or even go further than that. <laughs> I'm starting to get excited from imagining it. He suddenly got energetic. That's a little creepy. Ugh! But what do I do? I like both of you! I could hold hands with both of you and kiss both of you too! In fact, I want to! He's being brutally frank! Should we record this? Isn't that too evil? Can you, uh, let me think about it for a little bit? That's true. It's too much to ask you to decide right this second. That's true. Well, we're not in a hurry, so take your time thinking about it. I also, uh, want to prepare myself, too. Prepare for what? In case I don't get chosen, I need to buy tissues to wipe my tears. You're very negative, aren't you? Aren't you worried? I don't mind either decision. As long as I have you and Yukon, honestly, that's all I need to be happy. I mean, I'm happy if I have you two too, but don't you want to be lovey-dovey with the person you like? Well, of course I do, but... See? I told you so. You can't try to act like a good Samaritan, okay? Yes, you're right. Uh, I have to choose either one of these girls? Honestly, this is super hard for me. After that... Uh, uh, you're kind of struggling, isn't he? <laughs> Akari-chan, why are you saying uh, 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 and being fidgety? Because one of us is not going to be chosen! Of course I'm going to be fidgety and say uh, 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 uh. No, I'm not. Brain of yours. I don't mind if you're chosen, Akari-chan. 
I don't want to be someone who can't genuinely cheer on her friend's happiness. Hold on, I can't genuinely do that. You're making me sound like a horrible person, right? How many additional points do I get for being so loyal to my friend? Hmm, probably an additional million points. Yay. You're earning points for this? The decision has been made already, basically. There's no doubt that I'm going to be chosen. I can't choose yet! I was having serious trouble deciding who to choose. The way Akari was shy and blushed right after you complimented her was cute. There's a part of me that wants to mess around with her for fun, and I love that. Yayoi is always dozing off, but she's also a prankster too. She always has me wrapped around her fingers and makes fun of me. I love that. I want her to tease me every single day. I can't do it! I can't choose! I can't just choose neither of them. That's a horrible thing to do to people who confess their feelings for me. But... Ugh. Oh... I put you under a lot of stress because I suggested confessing our feelings together. No, even if you didn't suggest it, I probably would have one day. That day we'd have to break this friendship was looming over us anyway. Yayoi! But you're right. I strongly wish for the three of us to stay together forever. I love you just as much as I love Yukon. I... I love you one level below Yukon. That's very rude of you. Because you're always mean to me! Well, well. Anyway, I have an idea. Huh? Uh huh? Wait, my head hurts. Huh, what was I doing? Morning. Huh? Good morning. Eh? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Last night was so intense. What? You're you're right. It it was insane. It was. Emma, what robot? What is this? What's going on? Um. You forgot after everything you did? You're a jerk. She's right. You have to take proper responsibility for this. What? What does she mean by everything? Responsibility for what? What did I do? And with whom? Hold on. Did I sleep with both of them? I have no memory of it at all. What a waste. Precious memory of the loss of my virginity. Wait, hold on. I don't know for sure whether I was able to experience that yet. You're right. I can't be certain that we did this and that. We could have been playing Uno or something. That's probably it. You're right. Yesterday's game of Uno was definitely intense. Excuse, Excuse me? me. I'm sorry, I don't remember a single thing. You're awful. You're terrible. Um, if you could explain how this happened, I'd greatly appreciate it. Fine, we were drinking alcohol in your room last night. Oh, uh, that reminds me. I have a vague memory of that. 
Iayoi and Akari suggested that we drink together and brought alcohol. I was probably chugging that down or something. And that's how this happened. So what happened? B basically, you drunk and and us uh, did the, the deed. The deed? I guess you have no choice but to take responsibility and date the both of us. Y yeah! Take responsibility! Uh, no! Huh? He's super depressed. Are you that upset about getting to date the both of us? Upset? I promised that I'd choose one of you, but got drunk and slept with both of you. I can't forgive myself for doing something so insincere. Oh. On top of that, I don't have any memory of it. Damn it! Uh, is that the main reason that you're upset? Damn it! I can't believe I don't even remember how soft it was. Oh, he's definitely more upset about that. Anyway, you don't have to beat yourself up over having to choose one of us now. And we don't have to go through the sadness of not being chosen anymore. Let's say all's well that ends well. That's... Uh... Can you even consider that as sincere, though? You're still debating something? Well, yeah. Didn't we decide that you'll date both Yagoi and I? You're okay with that, Akari? You're the one who put your hands on us. I can't retaliate if you say that. Right? You should just obediently be Yayui and I's boyfriend. Hey! What? What specifically did I do with you, Akari? What? I blacked out and don't remember anything, so I want you to tell me what we did. You did things that you can't even talk about? Either way, don't make me say something so embarrassing out loud! You're a jerk! Hmm. <laughs> Honestly, what could I have done? Of course, if I actually did things, then I feel no reluctance about taking responsibility and making those two happy. But did we really do anything? Even if I was drunk, I've never gotten so drunk that I've completely blacked out. I feel like someone's planning things out intentionally. I guess I'll ask Yayoi about it, too. So yeah, Yayoi, uh, could you tell me exactly what we did? You're very straightforward. I know that I need to take responsibility, but I can't do that if I don't remember what I did, right? So, I want to make sure I know. Hmm, I see. You want to know what we did? What? Do you want me to recreate the moment for you? You will? <laughs> I was joking. Oh. She's messing around with me. With my innocent college student heart. Well, who cares about it? You don't need to think about anything. Just be a Kari chan and I's boyfriend. That's all you need to do. I can't do that. Oh. I don't know what I did. If you guys want me to take responsibility, I will. But I don't think it's right to date you two in order to take responsibility. 
As a man, I have to choose one of you since you both went through the effort of confessing your feelings for me. That's the only way I can be sincere to you two. You've always been stubborn once you decide on something. I like to think that that's my strong point. Can't you think of it this way? You don't have to hurt either one of us and make us both happy. That's just running away from my problems. Isn't it okay to run away if everyone will end up happy? Yoyoi strangely insistent about me dating the two of them. Oh, I see. I think I have an idea of what's going on. I might know who's guilty of planning what happened here. Um, Yayoi? Akari-chan? We should stop. We shouldn't lie to make him take responsibility just so he could date us. I don't think it's a good idea. Oh. A lie? I'm sorry. The truth is nothing happened between us. Neither Yayoi nor I. Nothing? Yayoi and I talked about it. We didn't want you to make you go through all that pain just because of us, so we thought we'd both just date you. The two of you date me? So we mixed some pills with your drink and had you knock out. So all you did that night was sleep. Nothing happened. It was all so we could create a fake situation. I see. I'm the one who suggested it. I thought that someone would end up hurt either way at this rate. I like being together, all three of us. I tried to think of the most peaceful solution, and that was to have you accept the Harlem situation. But I knew that you wouldn't agree to date the both of us even if we were okay with it. You think that choosing one of us is the only way to be sincere with us, right? That's why I thought we needed to create a situation where you'd have to end up dating the two of us. I mean, Akari-chan exposed us, but... Oh, I'm sorry. I felt guilty about lying and making him take responsibility for something he didn't even do. It's fine. I think you're right here, Akari-chan. Yayoi. Yeah, I think I'm the one who's most afraid of ruining our friendship. I understand. I'm sorry. I made you do something to make you upset because I was indecisive. That's not... There's one thing I want you two to know, though. Huh? I don't want to break our friendship either. After that, I don't mind bending my rules and values a little bit. You... Does that mean... I'll date both of you. I should have gathered the guts to not choose rather than to be brave and choose. <gasps> so that's that! I'll make you both the happiest girls in the world! Just stick by me! Oh, that's kind of not it. I got turned off just now. What? And that's how I ended up dating the two of them. Bonus clip. About our first time. What? What are you talking about all of a sudden? I was wondering if it would actually be okay to have our first time all together, you know. Oh, I see. What? What do you mean you see? Basically, he's talking about how our first time should be one-on-one. -on -one. What? But if we do that, one person would end up first and the other would end up last? 
Wouldn't that be the same case if all three of us did it together? Uh, you're so right! This is a problem. Yeah, this is a huge problem. What the hell are you talking about? Uh, if I clone myself, we could do it at the same time! What a wonderful idea! Right? I'm going to end up stupid if I hang around you two. So that's why I'm gonna try to clone myself! Ah, ah. This looks like it's going to take some time. Guess I'll have to suck it up and send in a slice with a sword. Oh, you're hurting me! Mentally and physically! Huh! Uh. All right, let's end today's training there. Thank, Thank you, sir. You, sir. <sighs> Here, take this. Oh, thanks. Oh. Hmm? <laughs> Why are you staring so intently at my daughter, hmm? Uh, um. Don't tell me you l word her, do you? No, no, no way! There's no way that's possible! Oh, my goodness, Dad. You have no right to call me Dad, kid. Yes, sorry, Master. What are you two whispering about? Hmm? It's nothing, Avery Chan. Don't call me that, it's gross. My daughter recently, she's being rebellious and it makes me sad. Uh. My name is Kayasu Umori. I'm a 16 year old freshman in high school. And this right here is Irie Kirisaki. She's the same age as me and my childhood friend. This is an old Japanese martial arts dojo that her father operates. It was part of our routine to train here and let out a sweat. Harry's father also operates a chiropractic clinic next door, so he's kind of a famous person. I heard he was nominated as a Japanese representative for something before. He's an amazing person, but... Kayasu-kun, didn't I ask you to keep a watch out for any boys that want to cling to my daughter? Oh, yes. Come on, man, I trust you, you know. I'm praying that you won't become one of those boys, okay? Uh. But he's extremely overprotective. What would happen if this man finds out that I already like Eri? Uh. Um. What is it? Oh, uh, it's nothing. Yeah? Eri was super strong, as expected from someone who has been training since she was a kid. A normal guy had nothing on her. On top of that, she was extremely beautiful. One time, she was scouted by a celebrity agency when she was walking downtown. She said she wasn't interested and turned him down. Still, the scouting continued since she stood out just by walking. Obviously, she was super popular in middle school, too. Maybe she was tired from all that attention because she started to dress plainly on purpose after she became a high schooler. According to her, I don't like standing out, it's tiring. That's what she said. While I did think it was a waste as someone who liked her, I was honestly relieved that she didn't have any weirdos trying to get with her. I should probably confess my feelings if I was really that worried, but I haven't gotten to that step yet. There was the thing with her father, but I was honestly just scared that she would turn me down. That wasn't the main reason I couldn't confess my feelings, though. When I was young, I was weak and a wimp, so I was often messed around with by the big bully of town. Back then, Irie would always save me. She received martial arts training from her father since she was little, and was always much stronger than the boys who were significantly bigger than her. On top of that, she had a strong sense of heroism, so the adults in town loved her as their little hero. I always admired Irie, and before I knew it, I'd fallen in love with her. Hey, Eri-chan, what type of boys do you like? 
Um, boys who are stronger than me? Then, if I become stronger than you, will you marry me then? Marry? Is that a bad idea? Sure. Really? Yep, but in exchange, you better protect me when I'm older, okay? Sure, I promise. That was a long time ago. It was an old promise that was getting harder to remember, but I still remember. I joined Aerie's father's dojo and have been training until today just to fulfill this promise. But I still haven't been able to fulfill that promise. I haven't been able to protect Aerie. It was an old promise, but do I have any right to confess my feelings to her if I can't keep a promise? No, I don't. That's why I want to fulfill that promise to protect her and confess my feelings no matter what, but... Ow! It's a thief! You're in the way! Move! Eri, I'll step in! <laughs> Eri? Move! Huh? Jesus! Phew! Wow. How am I supposed to protect a girl this strong? Thank you so much. Oh, no. I see a student here everyone is talking about who you're going. Wow, she's so cool. Harry's become even stronger in high school and had the same heroism as always. She was popular in town, even though she says that she doesn't like standing out. I can't just let a bad guy go. I mean, this is why I fell in love, but I can't confess my feelings at this rate. Ugh. Huh? One day. Huh? A maid cafe? Yes. Aerie's class was going to host a maid cafe at the school festival coming up soon. Are you going to dress up too? No, I'm in charge of reception. Really? They wanted all the females to wear the costume, but... What kind of costume is it? This looks good. Uh... Isn't this skirt super cute? This... isn't the length too short? That's the best part! The chest is super exposed, too. That's the best part! Uh, I don't want to wear such scandalous clothes. I'll be in charge of reception. Wah! But everyone's wearing it! No, thank you. I don't want to! Oh, yeah, okay. That happened. I feel like the class's mood went down a little, but I wonder why. I can easily imagine the scene. Well, you don't have to force yourself, but it's a school festival. You should wear it. Uh, no, thank you. So scandalous. Was it that crazy? It was! The skirt was so short that you could see my underwear. The chest was super exposed, too. The underarms were exposed on top of that. Underarms, too? Yes, underarms, too. Whoever designed that was super honest with their desires. I bet we could be friends. Our homeroom teacher teaches home economics, so he's going to design and create all the costumes, but... I can't believe he'd think about making a student wear that. It was a teacher. That's bad for a bunch of reasons. I still think it's a waste. If you wore a maid costume, there'd definitely be a bunch of customers. I don't want to. It's a chore. Sounds just like you, Aerie. I mean, it makes me happy to know that I'm the only one who knows the true Aerie. Ugh. Damn it, I said something embarrassing. I have to change the subject somehow. Uh, speaking of, our class is going to do uh, Stupidly Handsome. What is that? 
You know, like throwing a water bottle into a trash can from far away. Huh? What's so fun about that? That's... Like this... <coughs> here? Huh? See? It's so easy. Yeah, for you. Harry really can do it all, I swear. After that, Harry started throwing all the trash around us into the trash can, and a bunch of people gathered around because they thought it was a show. You're standing out, Harry-san! Just like that, it was the day of the school festival. Our class just needed to play a video we recorded, so I basically had a lot of time. That's why. So, this is Aries class's maid cafe. I'm getting excited. This is my first time in a maid cafe. So you came. What is it? Are you really not wearing the costume? I'm not. I see. Can't help it then. Slightly upset, I walked inside the maid cafe and... Welcome home, master! Ah? Uh, is this heaven? Adorable maids immediately greeted me. This is... It's true that these maid costumes are super exposing. If Amy wore this costume... Welcome home, master! Yeah, I'm back, Airy. Would you like a bath? Or have your meal? Or... Why, oh, you. Master! Whoa, that's amazing! What? This guy is so creepy! Yeah, but he is a customer. <sighs> huh? What's wrong, Kirasaki-san? What happened to the reception? <laughs> uh, Kirisaki-san. Bring it. Huh? I'll wear it. The maid costume. Please bring me the most exposing costume right this second. What? But that one... It's the most exposing one our teacher made! It was so exposing that we didn't even want to wear that. That's why... It's fine. Hurry. Yes! Coming right up! Kirasaki-san is normally so quiet and uh, plain, but she was that scary? If she hears you, she's gonna kill you! Who do you even think I am? <laughs> oh, shoot! I was living in a daydream of Amy wearing a maid costume. That was dangerous. I was about to simulate us getting married and having our kid become an adult. Anyway, this is the menu? I wonder what I should get. Have you decided on your order, Master? No, not yet. Uh-huh. Uh... Oh. You're joking. Th there's no way Kirisaki-san was that beautiful. Well, who is that beautiful maid? Is she a celebrity? What? A celebrity guest is wearing a maid costume to serve us? But why are you wearing that, Irie? Is there a problem? It's not bad, but... This is bad, I can't close my eyes! I'm even hesitating blinking. I don't want to look away for even a second. I want to look at Aerie forever. That's how beautiful she was. Your eyes, they're, they're getting red. Are you okay? I'm not okay. I see. More importantly... I want a celebrity to serve me too! Is this the main cafe where you get served by a celebrity? It is a beauty! I don't know why, but there are so many people now. <laughs> what do we do, Kirisaki-san? After you came out, people started spreading rumors. 
They're saying that there's a nationally popular celebrity in here as a guest to serve the customers in a maid costume! Why did that happen? We can't operate the shop like this! Uh... Irie... Koyasu Gun? Let's run away from here! Uh huh? Oh! Ooh. What? Phew! L let me go! It's embarrassing! What? Oh, but you can't run away with that outfit, right? Uh... Come on, just hang on tight. Oh. You were chased around for a while after that. Oh, we got rid of him somehow. Um. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Was that unnecessary? You probably could have handled that yourself. You didn't need my help, huh? <laughs> No, you saved me. B b because you were here, it reassured me. Airy. I mean, I wouldn't have been able to stand being alone dressed so scandalously. Oh, yeah, it's pretty revealing. Her skirt, too. It's insane. What are you looking at? Your thighs. Oh, you're so blunt. It's kind of refreshing. Shoot! My honest feelings came out. Oh. But, but anyway, why did you decide to wear the maid costume? You always purposefully wear plain clothes so you don't stand out. You knew there'd be a commotion if you dressed like that, didn't you? Something similar happened in middle school, too. You're right. There are a bunch of other girls who look pretty, too. I can understand it, but I get excessive attention when I dress like this. I mean, she's like a national treasure. She can't help it. Favoritism. So, why did you? That's because you... Huh? Me? What should we do about the beauty pageant? I can't believe the celebrity who was supposed to participate backed out suddenly. What do we do? We already told everyone about the special guest. Customers are gonna be upset. Uh. We quickly hid after hearing voices, but apparently they were operating a beauty pageant. It seems like they're in trouble too. Ari's itching to go out. With her strong sense of justice, she can't ignore anyone in trouble, so she's itching to go out. Don't get ahead of yourself. If you show up in front of him like that, I could already imagine the outcome. But I can't ignore people who are in trouble. I'll ask them if I can help them with anything. Wait, Airy! Uh, what, what do, do we do? do? I heard about your problem. Is there anything I can do for you? Please, Please join, join the beauty, beauty pageant! pageant. What? Well, that was fast. They scouted her as if they planned this all along. No one other than me would have noticed. Uh, but... Uh... Uh, okay. If you're okay with someone like me, if you promise not to expose my name or who I am. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much! Are you sure about that? You don't want to stand out, right? I can't just abandon people in trouble. Plus, it'll be hard to connect the dots based on how I normally look. It should be fine as long as no one figures out who I am. I see. But this outfit in front of all those people, it's a little embarrassing. It's fine. I'll protect you no matter what happens. Koyasukun. That's right. I have to protect her at all costs. And that's how the beauty pageant started. The guest's excitement escalated, and Aerie was called on stage for the final show. Now we have a special guest coming up on stage. Please welcome! <laughs> Please 
please tell us your name? It's a secret. What's your favorite food? It's a secret. What's your favorite animal? It's a secret. All right then, that was our guest. Do you have any questions? Yes, do you have a boyfriend? Please marry me. No, marry me. Please calm down, calm down. What? The crowd started going crazy over Aerie's cuteness. They're jumping on stage to get to her. I have to save her. Aerie! Koyasukun! Let's run away! We're doing this again? We are! Hold on! Oh, that was tiring. I'm sorry. It's my fault. It's fine. I know you can't abandon people in trouble, Aerie. Are they there? What about here? They came all the way here? They're so persistent. L let's hide. Yeah. Uh. Uh. We quickly hid in here, but this is bad for all kinds of reasons. The guys are still close, so we can't leave. Am I going to survive this? My sanity? Koyasukun. What was wrong? About that question earlier. Earlier? The reason I decided to wear this costume was because of you. Because I didn't want you swooning over other girls. I wanted you to look at me. What? No, uh, no, that was... I was imagining you in a maid costume, so I wasn't swooning over other girls. Is that true? Yeah. Besides, Aerie's the only girl I love, so I won't swoon over anyone else. I wish I could tell her that out loud. But if she wore a maid costume for that reason... What, what is it? Is there something you want to say? Uh, um, was that because you were jealous, or am I wrong? You're right. Huh? Uh... Really? Does that mean she... No, come on, it's not fair of me to ask her first anyway. That's not it, man. Listen, Irie. What is it? Um, was I able to fulfill my promise at least a little bit? Huh? You probably don't remember, but I promised you that I'd be a strong man who could protect you, right? Oh, you remembered. Does that mean you do too? Yes, I remember. I know that you were working hard for that promise too. So what do you think? Am I protecting you? Why are you asking so suddenly? If I can't even keep my promise, I feel like I have no right to confess my feelings to you. Mm hmm That's why this is super important to me. What do you think? Give me a straight-up answer. Got it. I'll announce it then. Thump, thump. Uh... Oh, do we need a drum roll? We do. You're so bad at that. Oh. She's sad. I feel very responsible for causing that. You've become so strong that you're able to protect me, Koyasukun. Of course, I don't want to be a girl who always has to be protected, so I have no intention of being weak. Oh, yes. But there were lots of moments when you saved me from trouble. I did? Yes, like when you let me copy your homework. I wasn't talking about things like that, but... Even now, you're protecting me, aren't you? I mean, um, yeah. If the girl I liked was wearing something this scandalous, I can't leave her alone. What are you looking at? Your chest. You're being too honest with your desires. I see, though. I was able to fulfill my promise, huh? Uh-oh. 
Um, it might be a little late, but I want to say it again. Yes? I, I like you, Aerie. I want you to be my... to be my girlfriend. Yes, I... like you too. <laughs> but are you really sure? You know, I'm not very ladylike. You know, I know boys who like girls that they can protect, so... That's what I thought and couldn't confess my feelings. I like you for you, Aerie. What about you? Isn't that the same for you? Y yes I like you. I, I love how you're always working hard. That's why I want to continue being with you. That's fine then, isn't it? Y yes We can hear everything. Let's leave them alone. Yeah. And that's how the two of us started dating. Ah! Ah! Huh. I'm sorry, I'm going to borrow him for a second. But Airy, whoa, you look... Huh? Who was that beautiful girl? What's wrong? Why are you dressed like that? It's because you were close to another girl. Erie, you're the jealous type, aren't you? Sh shut up! What are you doing, Erie? I'm practicing my drum rolls. I think it's getting worse. <laughs> 